So what are the steps in uh, 3D graphic rendering? First we generate an image showing the contents of some region of space. Uh, the region is called the view volume and it is defined by the user. Then we determine where each object should go in the image that is we do viewing and projection. When, then we determine which pixels should be filled that is we do rasterization. Then we determine which object is in front of each pixel that is we do the hidden surface elimination it is surface removal and the visibility analysis. Then determine what color it is. We do the lighting and shading. So this is the way we have vertex RSA. This is the point X, Y, Z for each point. Now the vertex shading is done. And after that, we make them as triangle. So this is triangle assembly and then rasterization. Rasterization means we transform them into pixels, which, which value of which exactly geometry is coming into the pixel, we show it. Then the fragment shading is done. This, this is fragment shading and you can apply the form, groove and uh, the flat shading. Then the testing and blending actual frame buffer what is going to be presented to the display device is done here. And if we see the, uh, in, the in the terms of a graph or flow, we have 3D printers. Now we have this 3D modeling coordinates. And we transfer this 3D primitive that is X, Y, Z in 3D modeling coordinates and we model the transformation. Then the 3D world coordinates, this modeling transformation has to be done in 3D world coordinates. Now we are in 3D world coordinates, the lighting is done. Then in the 3D world coordinate only, we do the viewing transformations. In the 3D camera coordinate transformation now, we project the transformation. And then we try to bring it to the screen. So now we do the 2D screen coordinates, we do the clipping. And then in the 2D screen coordinate only, we do the viewport transformation because we have to show it in this viewport. And then the scan conversion, finally we get the image in the 2D image coordinates. So this is the final things which we actually get with some point P1, P2, P3 as X, Y, and Z. So the graphic pipeline, graphic hardware employs the sequence of a coordinate system. The location of the geometry is expressed in each coordinate system as we just saw in turn and it is modified along the way as we just saw. The movement of geometry through these spaces is considered as a graphic pipeline. So you had local coordinate space, then it was converted to world coordinate space, then to view space, then to canonical view volume and finally viewport or display space. Was Thank you so much. Pipeline in 3D graphics.